I'm Jan Nerger, Dean of the College of Natural Sciences, and I'm standing here in one of my favorite parts of campus, right here by Newton's Circle. As part of the new Gateway to Discovery, we're about to build a new biology building, just east of here. You've seen no shortage of changes lately on campus as we strive to accommodate a growing student population, from classrooms and labs to increased housing options and living and learning communities. Our campus is truly being transformed. For many of our students, biology classes and labs are a core part of their time here at Colorado State University. Not only does biology house one of the largest majors on campus, well over half of all CSU undergraduates will take at least one biology course while they're here. The Anatomy Zoology Building has served us well, but with an ever-increasing enrollment and technological advances in life sciences research, it's clearly time to move on. The students realize this too, and two years ago voted to financially assist us in building the next generation biology building. The new building will support and foster interactive and interdisciplinary research teams, as well as graduate and undergraduate discovery learning. Our hope is the building will become a campus destination, a space for students to study, meet with their professors, or just hang out. So CSU is a powerhouse in the life sciences, from molecular biology to ecosystem sciences to remote sensing, every aspect of environmental and biological sciences. So this is a uh, comprehensive life sciences building designed for both research and for teaching. It's meant to vertically integrate our students into the building by providing both teaching space, laboratory space, and idea space where they can actually meet with each other and meet with their professors. We've had a functional biology building for the past 30 years, but it's not somewhere that when new students come to visit, they get excited about. We're building a destination where they can come between classes, during classes, and after classes, and find places to be with each other and with the faculty. From a research standpoint, one of the things that will be really nice is that we're going to have a very modern, well-designed, um, optimized space to do our experiments in. So the new building is going to be designed such that there's no longer walls separating the different labs. Instead, the labs will be continuous within this open, this open research space. We want science to be open-minded. We want it to be transparent. We want it to inspire curiosity and invite people in to, to get to be part of the discovery process themselves. Being able to make the small initiative now to pay it forward can go a long way so we can have that in the future for other people. I think it will be really neat to have an area of campus where the sciences can really call home. I'm now standing just east of the Anatomy Zoology Building in what's going to become the Science Mall. This is where the new biology building is going to be built. This building is made possible through the generosity of our students, as well as our donors and friends. Scientific discovery is a journey, whether it's in the laboratory, classroom, or a more casual setting. The goal is the same, to understand more about ourselves and the world in which we live. It's something to be proud of. It's something where a CSU student or alum can say, oh, guys, you've got to see this biology building. And it's just really exciting to be at a place where all these new discoveries are happening. I can help better myself as well as those around me and, you know, help make the world a better place. So it's time to grab your hard hat and join us on this journey of discovery. Discovery begins here. <laughs>